Good morning, one and all. In the lecture of uh, cyber security and digital forensic, once again, so we had just tried to conducted the continuing with the part of the deep web and their particular features. What is exactly mean by the deep web? We had seen in the previous lecture that will convey us that okay, what is the basic definition of a deep web? How the data will be available there? what kind of a surface web will be available there how many pages number of billion pages will be available there to access the particular user without permissions or without we can say the password protected so that is the part of the surface web and the deep web so once again we are going to discuss about what do you mean by the deep web and the contents which will be available in the deep web then we are going to move towards the potential of a deep web then the features some features regarding with the deep web so basically the deep web we had seen in the previous lecture also that ki not everything that is on the web and is easily found with a search engine so whenever we are going to search some kind of information on the internet at that time we can't finding out easily with the search engine so for accessing the invisible kind of a content we need some password we need some authorization to get access to the invisible content or the content which will be available in the deep web the term deep web comma uh, we can see that key the invisible web or hidden web or deep net refers to the vast repository of information that search engines and directories don't have direct access to for that we call it as a deep web most of the web falls into these categories so we had also seen in the previous lecture that key so those websites or those sites or those information which not registered with the particular search engines so they will not provide information whenever the user want to access some information to the google search engines yahoo search engines so so that ki because they don't have the registration with that particular search engines so whenever we are going to search something on the search engines so content from such sites or, or uh, information from such sites will be not access to the particular user because that will be available in the deep web to search that in, uh, information on from that particular sites we need proper authorizations so as you know that key they will require some kind of a fees to access that particular content so today we are going to discuss about the contents of a deep web that is a dynamic content unlinked content private web contextual web limited access content non scripted content and non html text content so, so as we had seen in this diagram also on the surface web we are going to getting the access through the search engines that is a free of cost we can see that most of the wikipedias and the some kind of information which will be available in the surface web and you can see in the diagram but that information is inefficient for getting some kind of a information that not properly organized that means we can say that that is a disorganized if you are going to use index also for the getting such kind of a information but that will be the this organized content will be there google search engine will be uh, required for getting the access to the such kind of information that will be available the free so if we require some kind of a subscription kind of a databases in if we require some kind of a evaluated and organized information so we need to require some kind of authorization so authorization required for getting access through the deep web so sophisticated searching will be required there so what kind of a searching will be required which type of searching will be required that we are going to discuss in the this lecture 
so as considering the dynamic content dynamic pages which are written in a response to submitting the queries or access only through a particular form we call it as a dynamic content which will be available so for that through filling the particular form through providing the particular queries in a search engine we are getting some kind of a dynamic content that is especially if open domain input element that is such as text will, will be used for uh, accessing the such kind of a information such fields are hard to navigate without domain knowledge dynamic content is uh, basically the content which will be available on the deep web that will be required in some kind of a queries you need to fire through the search engines also so getting the information from the that particular dynamic websites so by a particular form will be required for filling or accessing such kind of a information then the unlink content that will be pages which are not linked to by other pages so name itself suggests that the unlink content whenever we are going to use the particular website at that time so some of the pages will be linked with each other so whenever we need to access some in unlinked content through the dark web at that time some uh, pages which will be not linked to other pages we call it as unlinked content which may prevent web crawling programs from accessing the particular content so this content is referred to as pages without back links so for that we call it as a unlinked content then the private web as the name itself suggests that key that sites that require a registration and login so some a private website will be available there in a deep web for that they will be requiring some kind of a id and passwords so whenever you are going to search most of the time the internet some content will be available on the surface web and uh, if you want to access more content of the particular website at that time you will be required some kind of a registration i think uh, you, all of you may get aware about that ki whenever i mujhe aisa bhi lagta hai ki bahut sa logo ka ye dekha bhi hoga aapne bahut baar aapne search kiya hoga kuch information padhne ke liye so part of the some information will be available on that particular page but after that they providing some kind of a button if you want to access uh, read more then if you are going to click on that read more you will be getting some kind of a authentication required some kind of authentication id and password so such kind of a means if they will provide that ki some kind of information will be available on the surface web and some kind of available on the deep web for such kind of a website so private web is nothing but a sites that will be requiring some kind of a registration and the login also means password protected resources will be available in the private web contextual web that page with content varying for different access context so on the basis of the client ip addresses or the previous navigation sequences so what kind of a content will be required on the particular page that will be vary uh varying from the as per the particular context limited access content that is a site that limit some kind of accesses to the particular pages in a technical way so most of the time it may happen that ki they will be requiring some kind of a robot exclusion standard that is a, we had uh, seen on the most of the site that ki Uh, whenever we want to log in such kind of a site will be uh, they need to verify that ki you are a robot or what so they will be providing some kind of uh, images or uh, you need to select some proper images like uh, how many uh, we can say that ki car will be available in the particular pictures how many uh, boats will be available on the pictures so such kind of uh, the images they are going to provide you need to click on a particular site uh, picture images so they will be finding out that ki you are not a particular robot so robot exclusion standard will be available there 
फॉर इफ दे हैव सम काइंड ऑफ लिमिटेड काइंड ऑफ एक्सेस कैप्चा कोड यू नो दैट कि कैप्चा कोड मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम विल बी यूज बाय द मोस्ट ऑफ द पर्टिकुलर साइट्स फॉर नोइंग दैट कि यू आर नॉट अ पर्टिकुलर रोबोट सो दैट कैप्चा वी नीड टू एंटर्ड इन द पर्टिकुलर टेक्स्ट बॉक्स बाय यूजिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर कैप्चा कोड वी आर गेटिंग सम काइंड ऑफ एक्सेस टू द पर्टिकुलर वेबसाइट आई थिंक मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स मे गेट अवेयर अबाउट दैट कि वाट डू यू मै द कैप्चा कैप्चा आपने बहुत बार यू मे हर्ड अबाउट द वर्ड कैप्चा बट बेसिकली द कैप्चा विल बी स्टैंड फॉर कंप्लीटली ऑटोमेटेड पब्लिक ट्यूरिंग टेस्ट टू टेल कंप्यूटर्स सो and human apartments uh, we need to provide some kind of a test to the particular computer that ki you are the human so it is a type of a security measures that ki will be required uh, for the particular authentications so limited access that sites that limits the access to the particular pages in a technical way and uh, script contents pages that are only accessible through links produced by javascript as well as content dynamically downloaded from web server via flash or the ajax solution so some content that uh, will be available on the particular website or internet so that will be properly programming through the javascript pro, uh, javascript so that ki uh, if you want to access some kind of pages which will be available in the javascript javascript so that content dynamically downloaded from the particular flash via flash or the particular ajax solutions not non technical uh, html or text content that is a textual content encoded in a multimedia that is a image or a video form using used for the particular content that is uh, available in the content in the multimedia content files or specific file format not handled by the search engine so such kind of uh, images or uh, the multimedia content will be not handled by the particular search engine that is we call it as non html or the text content non text content then we are moving to the deep potential as the deep web is a is an endless repository for a mind reeling amount of uh, information so it's a powerful it unleashes human nature in all its form both good and the bad so deep potential will be the endless kind of a repository the endless kind of information will be available there so that ki uh, it will be having some information that is will be related with the mind reeling amount of the information so there are engineers engineering databases financial information of all kinds medical papers picture illustrations etc the list goes on basically for forever so so the amount of databases that is engineering databases and uh, some kind of uh, information related with the particular database uh, engineering information that will be available in the deep potential and that financial informations and uh, medical papers a huge amount of data which will be available so that all need to be accessed properly so that will need to be required whenever they want to access such kind of uh, information so for example some construction engineer could potentially search for the research paper at multiple universities in order to find the latest and greatest in a bridge building materials so whenever we will be requiring the different different kind of a potential information regarding some topic that is the medical we are going to consider the medical or the engineering so for finding out the more and more information in a number of pages in number of sites to number of locations to number of sites so that be properly available there so for that we require in the deep potential the potential amount of information will be available in that deep potential 
so pictures we had most of the time we can also search on the sites also or search engine also that ki if you need to uh, requiring some kind of pictures and for if we don't like that picture which will be provided by them in first pages then we are moving towards the second page then we are moving to the third page and so on so number of pages will be available there the number of pages will providing the same kind of information or related information through each and every pages means same kind of picture will be available on the each page so that is the potential amount of information will be available there and from that we are going to access the information that is will be the maybe the data from the databases also maybe the picture also maybe the medical papers maybe medical information also maybe the some kind of financial information also so number of information number of huge information from the different different categories related with the same topic will be available in that particular deep web doctors cloud doctors could swiftly locate the latest search research on the specific diseases at the time they are going to use the deep web potential the potential is unlimited the technical challenges are daunting that's the draw of the deep web then we are going to move towards the shadow land so deep web may be shadow land of a untapped potential so such kind of a shadow land will be available whenever you are going to search some information through the search engines at that time we are getting the potential kind of information also so a deep web that may be the shadow land which will be available there that will be untapped potential the bad stuff as always get most of these headlines you can find illegal goods and activities of all kinds through the dark web that include illicit drugs child pornography stolen credit card numbers human trafficking weapons exotic animals copyrighted media and anything else you can think of theoretically you could even say hire a hitman to kill someone you don't like means uh, the shadow land that are all be available there so that may provide some kind of uh, information related with the different topics that will be uh, illegal kind of uh, goods and activity will be available there and that uh, through the particular dark web so that includes the means of, you can say okay, the drug information child pornography stolen credit card number number of number will be there human traffic uh, trafficking tra trafficking weapons and uh, all the activity will be available with that particular thing but you won't find this information with a google search for accessing such kind of a uh, information which will be available on the shadow land and the uh, that information if you want to require means if you require some kind of a drugs and all the things so at that time such uh, search engine which will be available there will be not providing accesses to such kind of a information so for that we will be requiring a different kind of a search engines so that search engine will providing you the access that is the search engine that this kind of a websites require some kind of a search engines special software such as the onion router most commonly known as the tor so by using the such kind of a software search engine that is the tor we are getting some kind of accesses to such kind of a illegal kind of a activities if you require some kind of a illegal activities that time will be getting uh, entered through such kind of a tor software so tor is nothing but software that will be installed into your browser and set up the specific connection you need to access the particular dark web site so we can say that ki uh, for accessing the illegal activity or uh, accessing the illegal kind of content at that time the software that will be available that is the tor that union router will be available there that will provide you the information 
the they need, need to be installed in your particular browser and set up some kind of a specific connections for getting accessing the particular dark websites that website which will be the illegal critically it is a free software for enabling online anonymity and uh, censorship resistance onion routing refers to the process of remo removing encryption layers from internet communication similar to peeling back the layer of an onion most of the time it may happen that ki some encrypted site will be available there and we can't able to access such kind of a sites so accessing such kind of a encrypted kind of a information we are requiring the onion router that will be removing the encryption layer and applying there the onion layers so that using the tor make it more difficult to trace internet activity so whenever you are going to requiring or we need to do such kind of illegal kind of internet activity so after installing the tor you are not trace by the particular agency or the we can say that ki cyber officer so that ki it is difficult them to get properly trace your internet activity including visit to the websites online post instant messages and other communication form back to the particular users it is intended to the project the personal privacy of users as well as their freedom and ability to conduct confidential business by keeping their internet activities from being monitored so what type of activity you need to be do on the particular websites and that activity may have some kind of intention some personal privacy information you need to be access over the internet that will be getting some kind of a freedom from the monitoring your activity within the tor instead of seeing domains that end in .com or the .org these hidden sites ends in a .onion so here you are requiring the instead of .com .org you need to verify you need to getting information from the .onion the most infamous these onion sites was the now defunct that is a silk road that will the website that online marketplace where user could buy the drugs also guns also and uh, sort of the other illegal item over the silk road that is the marketplace will be available there that will be available in the different dark web so the fbi eventually captured ross albich who operated silk road but copycat site like a uh, black market reloaded are still readily available so the person that is rob uh, ross albridge who was develop the silk road website which will be available for the illegal activity that is the drug guns and uh, another content which will be available there on the particular site that site may get access through only the tor so that may get uh, captured by the particular uh, captured by such a, that person that site may be get closed but same site regarding uh, like a silk road copycat site will be available there that is a black market reloaded and all the information will be available there as compared to the silk road and that will be available in the readily available in the particular marketplace tor is the result of a research done by the us naval research laboratory which created tor for political descendants and uh, wish blowers allowing them to communicate without fear of a reprisal tor was so effective in providing anonymity for those these groups that did, it did, didn't take long for the criminally minded to start using as it as well so this is the silk road website which will be available there in a, you can see in this diagram that will be the hidden from the particular 
common users and if you want to access such kind of uh, sites you will be required some kind of uh, authorization for most people reading uh, means we can see that the tor is a uh, either illegal or blocked by the national authorities so it, china has a uh, means uh, getting such kind of uh, anonymity services and uh, blocks tor traffic from crossing the great firewall so they get some kind of a uh, initiative so as compared to such kind of illegal activity so money information that is the bitcoin and other thing so that also be transaction will be created that is a illegal activity illegal activity that was whenever bitcoin was developed so you may wondered how many money related transactions can happen when seller and buyers can't identify each other that's where bitcoin comes in so before the legal activity as a bitcoin so whenever that was developed first of time the bitcoin that is a illegal activity in that a uh, bitcoin was purchased and sell over the internet without knowing the particular customers bitcoin is a basically an encrypted digital currency like a regular cash bitcoin is a good for transaction of all kinds and notably it allow also allows for anonymity no one can trace a purchase illegal or otherwise when paid properly with tor it perhaps the closest thing to a full proof way to buy and sell on particular web so also for the before purchasing the particular you can say that ki bitcoins will be requiring the tor that will protect you to do the illegal kind of activity the brighter side of a darkness the deep web is a home to alternate search engines email services file storage file sharing social media chat sites news outlets and a uh, whistle blowing sites as well as sites that provide a safer meeting ground for a political dissenters and anyone else who may find themselves on the fringes of a society so for that they provide in the better side from the darknesses in an age where nsa type surveillance is a omnipresent and privacy seems like thing of the past the dark web offer some relief to people who prizes their anonymity bitcoin may not be entirely stable but it is a uh, offer privacy which is something you credit card company most uh, certainly does not so for that uh, bitcoin requires some kind of a privacy uh, privacy whenever you want to purchase through the credit card and uh, that may be get secured for citizens living in a country with a violent or a oppressive leaders the dark web offers a more secure way to communicate with like minded individuals so such some kind of a invisible web search tools available there so a list of deep web search engines so produce all so said list will be there and some name also available tools a name also available there the illness between as considered in futures of the deep web the illness between search engines content and the deep web have begun to blur as search services start to provide access to the part of the all one state content an increasing amount of a deep web content is opening up to free search as the publishers and the libraries make agreements with the large search engines in the future deep web content may be defined less by opportunity for search than by access fees or other type of authentication so you know that key will be requiring some kind of a fees and a, some payment to accessing such kind of a content so deep web may contain or may providing the uh, less kind of opportunity we can say that for searching the accessing the content we requiring some kind of a fees as conclusion the deep web will continue to 
प्रीप्लेक्स प्रीप्लेक्स एंड फैसिनेट एवरीवन हु यूजेज द पर्टिकुलर इंटरनेट इट कंटेंट्स एन एन थ्रिलिंग अमाउंट ऑफ नॉलेज दैट कुड हेल्प अस इवॉल्व टेक्नोलॉजिकली एंड एज अ स्पेसिज वेन कंटेन कनेक्टेड टू अदर बिट्स ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन सो ह्यूज अमाउंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल देयर एंड यू कैन टू गेट एक्सेस टू द पर्टिकुलर टेक्नोलॉजी एंड ऑफकोर्स इट्स डार्कर साइड विल ऑलवेज बी लुकिंग टू जस्ट एज इट ऑलवेज डज इन ह्यूमन नेचर डीप वेब सिक्स स्पीक टू द फेथमोलिस scattered potential of not only the internet but the human race too so this is the some information will be available with the deep wave so in this section we had discussed about the tor deep potential shadow land and the some content which will be available in the deep wave i hope all of you make it cleared your topic through this video in next lecture we will try to discuss the some remaining topics of the unit number 2 and try to finish this information uh, unit in the upcoming lectures thank you very much thank you